welcome back to the channel. Today I have a quick video on how we can group data across multiple Excel spreadsheets using Python and Pandas. Let's get started. In our first Excel file, we have a very typical database structured Excel file. We have all the headings up top, so we have a line number, an operator, and the product that the operator is making, the amount of that product that the operator makes, how long, and then the shift. We have the same style of data on a second Excel spreadsheet. The structure is the same and we just have different values in these fields. We're using two different sheets in the same workbook for this example, but feel free to use two different workbooks entirely. Let's say that we wanted to know how efficient each of our operators were on each of the different lines. So what we need to do is to first combine these two data frames together and then group by the line and the operator. Let's open up a text editor. And the first thing that we need to do is to import the package that we'll be using. So we'll be using pandas. So import pandas as PD. Next, we need to designate the file path for each of our Excel workbooks. Since I'm in the same directory, I'll just say Excel file, and then the name of my workbook is workbook1. So workbook1.xlsx. If you're using a second workbook, you should put it here as well, but we're just using one that has two different sheets. So now we'll say data frame one will be pd.readexcel, and then we'll pass in that file path. Since this one will be the first sheet, the default for the read Excel function is the first sheet of the workbook. So we don't need to put anything extra. We'll drop down and say df2 is equal to pd.readexcel. So the same function and the same file path. But for this one, we'll put sheet name is equal to the second sheet name. And the second sheet name was second for the second shift. So we'll type that in here. Second. Let's go ahead and drop down and we'll say print df underscore one dot head five and then we'll do the same thing for the second one what this is doing is just making sure that we've read in the two excel files successfully and that there's no errors we'll open up a command prompt or a terminal and say python 3 and then the name of my file is productivity.py we see that we get the first five lines of both of these sheets so there's no problem in how we've read them in okay now let's drop down and now since we have multiple data sources, only two in this case, but we could have potentially a lot more, we need to combine them together using the concat function. We'll designate all the data frames that we want to combine first. So we'll say frames is equal to square brackets and then df1 and df2. Let's go ahead and create a new variable. So we'll say all data data frame. This will just be the data frame that has all the information from all the different data sources that we want. We'll say pd and then use the concat function. We'll use that frames variable that we just created. And then we'll say the axis is equal to zero. We're setting this axis equal to zero here because we want both of the data frames to be under the same columns. If we set it equal to one, they would be side by side. And now let's make sure that worked. So we'll say print all data df. We'll save and execute again. So we see that we've successfully combined the two data sources that we have but feel free to use as many as you like across as many workbooks as you need to. So now that all of our data is together, let's go ahead and get the results that we wanted. We wanted each operator and how effective they were on each line. We'll go down and create a productivity data frame, and this will be equal to the all data data frame. We'll use the group by function, which is already built into pandas. And now what we need to do is to specify the columns that we want to group by. For us, we wanted to group by the operator. So let's go back up to the top of our data frame We'll take this and copy it and paste it in. And we also wanted to group by the line number. So we'll take this and copy it and paste it in as well. And now we need to specify the calculation that we want the group by function to do. Since we want to know how efficient our employees are, let's go ahead and take the mean of the product number that they make. So we're taking the mean of all the other columns here, but we'll pull out the amount column, this one right here, in the next line. So let's say print productivity data frame, we'll use square brackets, and then we'll copy this amount column and paste it here. Save your file and then we'll execute again. And now we get the result that we wanted. We're pulling out each operator and we're seeing how effective they are whenever they're running each line. So now as a manager, you could see very obvious points that you may want to fix. So for example, Mike on line one may not produce the best results compared to the other employees. There's plenty of other calculations that we can use in the group by function. Here, instead of mean, we could have done minimum, we could have done maximum, or we could have done something like a summation. 
This group by function is a very easy way to replace pivot tables whenever you have a large number of Excel sheets and many different data sources. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. I'll see you in the next video.